and I've noticed that that's a trait and I've, I've learned that with everything I've done growing up whether it was in wrestling and um, having to be patient and just you keep working you keep grinding day after day and I've seen it in being away from wrestling and I have to be careful who I put myself around because I see it with and I hate to use the term like regular people or anything because I'm a regular person uh, but people that maybe have not achieved any significant level of success in anything uh, a common trait and this is just an I'm gonna give an example just for people uh, I knew a girl very nice girl she lived here for a period of time rented a room out and very nice person and she was oh I'm gonna do this I'm going to make uh, swimsuits bikini swimsuits and she had a business and she did that for a little bit and it didn't really take off because nothing really ever takes off right away for the most part like it takes years and years and years and you do something you enjoy if you have a side hustle you got a side job whatever it is you you keep doing until you eventually get it going and um, I witnessed this firsthand of she then came I'm gonna be a personal trainer and she went and studied her ass off for all these personal training exams and became a personal trainer but didn't make the money that maybe she thought she could make right away and she stopped it really shortly thereafter and then it was well, I'm gonna to go to real estate school and starts doing the real estate exams and applying to herself and going and doing everything and passes her real estate exams and like which is really hard it takes a lot of time and then stopped because she wasn't making the money she wanted to make right away and then she well, I'm gonna be a bartender went to bartending school took the bartending exams and then didn't get the job she wanted right away wasn't making the money she thought she should make right away so she quit and then she went on to something else and then it was I'm gonna start another supplement company with the friends and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start selling supplements and that didn't take off right away and she quit that and last I heard she was escorting it's crazy when you when you see someone and that wasn't the ex-girlfriend by the way so somebody thinks that it, it, it was not the ex-girlfriend just think I promise you that the uh, but this was a very nice girl and but I, I saw it firsthand that she did not have the the patience to succeed she was her own worst enemy and I see a lot of people like that that's why I will grind and grind and grind when I set my mind to something I'll go down on that sword because I commit to it and I keep going and I keep going and I keep going and you adjust and you evolve and, and you adapt and, and but you when you set your mind to something you go all in and you keep going if you fail you fail but don't fail because you stopped and because you didn't think you were you, you didn't get the success you thought you deserved or wanted right away it doesn't work like that overnight successes take 15 20 years for a lot of people some people never get it some people get it in five years some people get in a couple of years some people get lucky right away there's no right or wrong but I wasn't gonna that wasn't supposed to be my motivation of the week but I that's my motivation of the week my motivational my thought of the week with that is patience like Nick said and you really gotta it's so important in this generation myself included everything everything I always say I, I, I'm talking for myself I think one of the things too we get in that when we see it on social media and I've been guilty of doing it and I have to go back and remind myself to reword things for me because I think like whatever we're doing and if something's working for us and then we'll put out a, a public service announcement of trying to motivate people and where it comes off it can rub people the wrong way because it's you're a lot of people will, will explain it as if they're talking to you rather than talking for themselves rather if you share it as something that you've applied for you it's really no way to be taken negatively because you're only speaking for yourself but when you speak to tell people like this is it, like for example when I did my the, the the thing with disco with Glenn this past week on Instagram on um, have a plan I have a backup plan and we've heard I've heard people like Will Smith and, and Arnold Schwarzenegger and they don't have a plan B don't have a plan B that's great that's for them and in, in their mindset and what they're trying the, the the point they're trying to get across is go all in commit to something can go at it and I'm of that same mindset and what Disco is saying is have an idea of a backup plan. It's not, it's not a bad thing. That doesn't mean that you don't commit and go all the way and succeed in what you're doing. And I look at it like this, and, and I had somebody that was trying to say, oh, I disagree with that. And it's like, well, okay, you can disagree with that. You're missing my point. 
the point of having a backup plan is if you're a pro wrestler and my goal was always to be a pro wrestler and I went all in that and then I had a backup plan of some business stuff I wanted to do that I'd given a lot of thought to because I'd had my career taken away from me at a young age with my ankle injury and having to overcome that and then again here with the back and shoulder injury that if I didn't have a idea or a backup plan with that situation I would have been in a lot of fucking trouble I would have been forced to probably keep wrestling and then been forced to retire it would have been bad so you got to be able to take things in context and that if you have an idea of what you want to do that for the instance that you wake up the following day and you have to have your right leg amputated and you can no longer earn a living the way that you're doing that you have a backup plan on how to, how to do something else. So I think so you have to understand how I'm explaining it. It's not saying, no, go all, have a plan A, but have a plan B to play it safe and don't go all in. That's not what we're saying. So you have to understand, you have to be educated enough to understand what we're saying and what I'm, I'm talking for me and my idea of what a backup plan is, having an idea. So that doesn't mean that you're telling yourself you're going to fail. You have to be educated enough and have the, 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 the mind capacity to understand that, no, you go all in, you commit all the way, you don't accept, no, you don't accept any failure, but you have an understanding that life, sometimes things happen that are out of our control and that is that can't be explained that we can't understand random acts of god whatever you want to call it of energy of the universe but things just happen sometimes so that's what what we were getting at with that hey don't want a backup plan we don't have to have one if you don't want one i'm just explaining that if you wake up and you got to get your right leg amputated which is it's happened it's not out of it's not uh, crazy that you might want to have an idea of another way so, that's my thought of the week. Two thoughts of the week, kind of, this week. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy, Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.